It's about time we offered you an apology. We told you that we had learnt all of the reaction and functional groups a couple of videos ago. But there's one alkene reaction that we left out. And that's because NCA sees it as so important that they often dedicate an entire question to it. Luckily, it follows a pretty repetitive pattern that once you learn it, can lead to some pretty straightforward points come exam day. But enough of a build up, the final reaction type we need to discuss is polymerization. A polymer is a long, long, long chain that we find in tons of useful materials like wool, silk, and rubber. The special characteristics of polymers that allows them to be so long is that they're made up of lots and lots of smaller repeating units called monomers. Alkenes frequently form the individual monomers that make these great big chains of polymers that we use. Let's look at what a simple monomer might be. This is just an ordinary molecule of propene, although we have drawn it slightly differently to how you might remember. We've done this specifically so that the two double bonded carbon atoms are in the center and everything else is bonded to them. So this molecule of propene is the monomer. But what is the polymer going to look like? We get a polymer when this molecule of propene meets another molecule of propene. Then, you guessed it, the double bond will break open and the two molecules will merge into part of the polymer. What we've drawn here is called two repeating units of the overall polymer. The polymer, of course, is going to be made up of millions of these repeating units, so we usually don't bother drawing all of them. That means that one repeating unit of the polymer would simply look like this. It's very important that you can understand how this thing here, one repeating unit of the polymer, is different from the original monomer that we began with. The monomer, you'll remember, was an alkene. This repeating unit is similar to the monomer, but it has no double bond, and those two bonds on the carbon simply connect to nothing whenever we draw the repeating unit. In the actual polymer, they join to more of those repeating units. So polymerization is really just a series of addition reactions, one after the other, to create a long chain molecule. When we draw a single repeating unit, we draw it in square brackets and denote it with the letter N after. This represents the fact that there can be a varying number of repeating units in the polymer chain represented by the variable N. Often, NCA questions will ask you to draw a number of repeating units based on a monomer they give you. Simply think of it as opening up the double bond and placing spare bonds on either side of the unit instead.